In this video, I'm going to show you how in Visual Basic we can load multiple cards, multiple images um, into a picture box and change them easily, swap them out easily. And so what you first are going to see is I went on and I've got a deck of 52 cards. They're in numerical order. So uh, one is a, a one, ace is a one, underscore one. A two is the two of spades. Uh, underscore three is the three of spades. Underscore four is the four of spades. All the way up to 13 being the king. So 10, jack, uh, queen, and then 13, king. And then when I go to the next suit, which is 14, it's going to change to the next suit, the one of the next suit. So every 13 cards from 1 to 13 are in order, and then 14 uh, to 26, and then 27 on, and so forth. So I've got these cards, but how can I display the, let's say, the um, two of spades? So if I want to display underscore two, how do I do it? And a lot of students want to code something like this. They'll come up with a variable like card, and they'll say it's going to be a random number from 1 to 52. And you'll see I've built a function right here to display random numbers. And then they would want to do something like this. They'd say the picture box is going to equal my resources and then that number, the 2, the 3, whatever it is. Um, but card here is an integer. And my resources, you can't quite do that with card. So I've seen students try this. No, that doesn't work either. So this is not going to work. So what we could do is we can create a set of cards and put uh, 53 of them in it. So we'd start with zero because remember, I also want one to do the back. So if I say card zero, it would be a zero. Uh, it would be the back of the card and then one to 52. So a number from uh, zero to 53. And so what I can do is I put the following um, set in there. I created a object called image and I call it IMG because image is a reserved word. So image is going to be a set of images. So I de declare a set of images and then I just have to manually type in my dot resources dot underscore zero. So item zero of my set and to use a set, I use the parentheses. So the first value in the set value zero is zero. Value one just happens to be one and two is two and so forth. So it's going to work perfectly because I start with zero anyhow. Uh, three will be the three of spades, four will be the four of spades. And then what I can do is I can then say, ah, uh, me dot picture box dot image is my resources. And I can say uh, the image of the card. So if I've got in my set, I've got um, image number, oops, I don't even have to put my resources. I can just say it's an image. So my picture box image is image of this set. So if I want uh, one, if card is one, it's going to go to the first value, not value zero, value one, value two, value three. So value one would be my resources underscore one. And there you have it. So the first card would be um, displayed. If it picks card 32, card 32 will be displayed. And I'll just uh, hit play here so you can see that I can load from this object I made called uh, image that I declared here. It, the picture box is going to display that card value. Okay, the other idea of how we could do this, so some students don't like to use a set. That's not something that's kind of cumbersome. They had to type in 52 cards and that was a lot of work. So let me show you another way that we could do the set of pictures. So again, I create a, a integer card, which is a number from uh, 0 to 52 or 1 to 52 if I'm displaying it. And what I could do is I could uh, change the code and I could say that the picture box is equal to my resources use a resource manager get the object add an underscore 
because uh, the resources are all underscore and then the card value and I need to turn the card from a uh, value of an integer to a string. So I go card and then I say dot to string and this might be a better way. So instead of using the set of images, another way we could do it is just uh, simply say, let's take that card and use the resource manager and we'll turn the card to a string and we'll add an underscore and we use get object. And this is gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna go into my resources and if I pick 17, it would underscore, it'll add an underscore and 17 and that's the one it will display. So let me press play and I'll demonstrate this one. And you can use both of those uh, methods. Both work just fine. Great. So I'll put that in my comments and uh, you'll see that uh, you can make a blackjack display a string 